Hey, everybody, I'm John Granato, and that is Josh Jordan. You can hear us on ESPN 97.5 and 92.5. Josh also does a lot of work at SportsMapHouston.com. Hit subscribe if you haven't yet so you get all of our content here at SportsMapHOU. Multiple reports are linking the Astros to Dylan Cease. Well, I guess. Uh, Dana Brown said he's only going to hit a double, not a home run. Yeah. That would be a home run if you got Dylan Cease. Now, Michael Schwab is also linking them to Luis Robert. Okay. Before we get into what it's going to cost – how much does this help this team if they get both those guys? I mean, it's huge, especially for the starting rotation. You, know, you don't know. Christian Javier looked better in his last start back. Looks like his release point is, is getting to where it was. After the first couple innings, he kind of found it. So hopefully Christian Javier is starting to return, but you can't bet on that. So immediately Dylan Cease is your number two, number three starter if you trade for him. Now his ERA is in the fours. He's not as good as he was last year. But I, I did look it up. His spin rate's still good. His velocity's still good. He's just finding more barrels this this year but I wonder if they could kind of do a Garrett Cole thing with him where he comes through the yeah. Astros car wash and they can kind of get him fixed as far as Luis Robert I mean he's a great player great power now now he's going to cost you some money now he's going to cost you 12 and a half million next year and then he's going to cost you 15 the year after that You're, that's nothing that's a bargain for a guy who's got a 900 OPS are you kidding me it is but keep in mind these power numbers we're seeing this year it's the first time he's ever done it well but he's also been injured too he's yep. a guy that you got him under control for four years after this so I and it's a team option on those two 20 million dollar deals yep so uh, uh, Luis Robert would be an awesome, an awesome, awesome dog. Listen, if you start with Fromber and then Cease and then Javier and then whomever in game four, you are, no, you're back. I, this is a much better acquisition than what they you know, got with Greinke when they picked yeah. him up. I think Dylan Cease, and you're right, I think – with the you know the law firm of Murphy and Miller, they're going to take care of business and get Dylan Cease back right because the Dylan Cease I saw against the Astros earlier this year, yeah. holy crap, that dude uh, his his potential is through the roof, and we've seen him be great before. Now the hard part, what are you giving up for? What what would the White Sox take for Dylan Cease and Luis Robert? Here's my problem. If it's younger guys, Drew Gilbert, he's not even a top 100 prospect anymore after the draft happened the other day. So how valuable is Drew Gilbert? Oh, he's got some value. He's got some value, but not enough to get you Dylan Cease, I don't think. So they're going to want somebody on the roster. Dana said he'd be willing to give up some outfielders. If I'm the White Sox, I don't want Jake Myers. No, I, you got to take. You got to give him Chaz. You got to give him Chaz. And I mean, that, that one hurts you because – and I get why they would do it because then you'd have Robert in center field, and then in left field, Jordan's supposed to be coming back. So maybe it's Jordan and Jolks going back and forth and left, center and right field are locked down. So that could make some sense. But giving up Chaz, like, like we talked about, he doesn't make hardly any money. He's under team control until 2027. I almost think they would want Yiner, too. They're going to want something else. And if well, Dusty's hardly going to play him when Jordan, come, Jordan comes back and you still got you know Lee and the Miners, maybe Yiner's part of the deal. Well, okay, let me throw something at you that you're going to be disgusted with. <laughs> okay. Kyle Tucker. Oh. You've only got him under team control for two years. You'll have Robert under control for four years. You'll have Dylan Cease as the second guy in the rotation. It's got to hurt if you're going to get quality, quality players. It doesn't hurt more than Kyle Tucker and then whatever else you can, maybe even a Hunter Brown. Hunter Brown and Kyle Tucker for Dylan Cease and Luis Robert. It's got to hurt, but you got to know this. I think they've been negotiating with Kyle Tucker, and they know he is not going to be here two years from now. Do you want Kyle Tucker uh, to, not to be here two years from now, or do you want Luis Robert here for four years? Man, that's a good question, John, because I'm, I'm sitting here thinking about it. Uh, the nostalgia for Kyle Tucker, I, I just don't want to move him. Th th that worries me. And then Hunter Brown, you, you're not in a place where you can give up any starting pitching right now, I don't think. So th that, that concerns me a little bit. Well, you got J.P. France would be your fourth guy. A, a, a rotation of Fromber, Dylan Cease, Christian Javier, and, and J.P. France, and then whatever. Urquidy, the, maybe. Uh, Urquidy, possibly, Renel Blanco, whatever the case may be. That's a lot better than what you got right now. A lot better than what you got right now. It, and it that is. is championship quality rotation. And that's what you're looking for here. 
just losing Kyle Tucker. I mean, how would this fan base react to that? You know, right now, and the way he's hitting. I mean, you are selling him high. Uh, I'll right. give you that, John. And, and you got, and they're going to have him for two years. So, I mean, this is this might be the time, two plus years. So, this might be the time. I hate to say it. I hate to say it. He's a fan favorite, but you got to give up something to get something, and it's got to hurt, or the, the hurt. White Sox aren't going to want to do it. Happen. it.